Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the love and support. Our community is growing so fast and just people are dropping comments and showing their support and love is, I'm so greatly appreciated with this. And, you know, keep sharing the videos, keep showing your support. Um, and so we can all be in a community where we can grow off of love and good vibes here because we definitely need it right now. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a, uh, a form you know a empath I don't know why I say a current empath because you're always an empath if you're an empath <laughs> uh, there's going through some situations where they need validation and confirmation in their life to let them know they're going down the right or wrong direction please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again so much for the love and support I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and thank you so much for the support it's greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the, uh, the meditation music that I'm listening to today is, um, is called 963 Hertz, uh, Frequency of Gods. Ask universe what you want, manifest anything, law of attraction. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Targeted Individuals. What is the world coming to? Y'all, I just made a video a few days ago about saving mankind from itself. All the different diversities that is going on in the world. People coming up dead. You know, people being found in freezers. People being rolled up in mats. You don't know how they got there. You know, all of a sudden nobody never know nothing. But it, it just seemed crazy yesterday. I was doing my videos and I was just having a discussion the other day about targeted individuals, about how, you know, when major things going about in the world, they're trying to move stuff. So they'll put stuff in our way to, you know, to have like a panic in the world, like Ebola virus, Zika. And now all of a sudden it was Justice Smollett. All of a sudden, the, the, the all the charges, it was an uproar about that for weeks and weeks. And all of a sudden, now the, you know, the charges are dropped. But yesterday, we lost a rapper that it was in my daughter's era, but he was a really good guy. You know, he pushed out a lot of positivity in the world. You know, he, he had a past just like everybody else, but he tried to come up in the world and somebody shot him six times. Uh, it was uh, right in front of his store, Nipsey Hustle. Um, from what I heard uh, with different stuff that they had of uh, coverage, it was two people who were in critical condition and he was shot fatally in the head, which is, you know, bottom of my heart. I mean, I've been crying about it, even though I really didn't know about him. It's just the fact is when you, anybody that you lose in the world is, is a heart pill to swallow but knowing this man was trying to push out positivity trying to help certain situations to better the world and then all of a sudden he was just knocked out of the box like that was just so messed up beyond messed up because he was getting ready to do a documentary about this dr cb um who had found the cure for aids and cancer and so many other things that you know are killing off individuals out on the planet and all of a sudden it was like he was doing this stuff back in 1985 and then all of a sudden he had to go to court for all these different situations and then he came up shot dead and then I was wondering where I heard this name from before and then all of a sudden I'm reading up on things and found out that Lisa Lopez was talking about it in her documentary saying that she, you know different things that she praised him about because he was prolific prolific or whatever they want to call it um of trying to find a cure for these things you know trying to be able to you know push this out to the to the people but I said oh yeah this I said it makes perfect sense it, it's going to take away from chemotherapy it's going to take away from all these different you know uh 
trial and error of things that they're trying to put all these people through they're having these terminal illnesses it's going to take money away from them so all of a sudden i said of course they're going to come come up and kill him because this is going to make a difference and it's going to save billions and billions of dollars from having to go through all these little terrible treatments chemotherapy all these different pills and stuff like that when he was coming up with natural herbs and everything so it was really sad then all of a sudden right when lisa put this out in her documentary she dies a few days later and then all of a sudden it nipsey was getting ready to make a documentary of this and i seen a clip of it that he put out in the breakfast club or something like that it was in the source video where he said if he ended up making this documentary and he come up dead y'all better ride for him and i'm riding for him because it doesn't make any sense when we're out here trying to make a better life for us there's too many people that are dying of aids there's too many people dying of cancer especially these children they got saint jude's hospitals and people are pouring millions and millions of dollars in these hospitals to help people with all these different illnesses and then when you can find something that can cure all this out all of a sudden this man comes up dead you know and he already said this he you know he was already you know prophesizing that this was going to happen once he starts showing everything out you know i mean it just doesn't make any sense the man ends up getting shot dead just like the doctor did you know he ended up beating two court cases back in 1985 and all of a sudden you know he he comes up shot dead himself now all of a sudden nipsey hustle um ends up doing the same thing and i was just talking about this the other day about targeted individuals it's just crazy it's like when they're trying to push something out all of a sudden i say i don't really get into the government thing but i give a side eye to a president we got out here number one is racist number two does not pay taxes but yet there i mean you see people going to jail for tax evasion you know uh the guy from jersey shore mark situation he he went to jail for tax evasion Wesley Snipes I mean all these different people but yet you can brag about you not paying taxes for 40 years you know and then nothing happens to you you still up here and I mean you got impeachment and everything written all over you and I'm just like what is the world coming to what is I, I mean I don't I really don't understand this it's just like we're 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 supposed to be something that posed a fight for right, greater good but yet you know just like for weed weed is helping people with you know uh with seizures like I've had seizures back in the day I mean thank God I haven't had any since like 26 or 27 I haven't had them but it was only having them for like about six or seven months and then all of a sudden I didn't have them but I still have the, the headaches and everything that comes about but I've seen a lot of people that suffer from epilepsy and you know different aid patients and cancer patients they help them you know marijuana the, for the uh, TCB or whatever that's in that or the oils and stuff like that it's been helping people you know certain people got to you know move up paying a fortune just to move to different places where they can go legally and get this for their children or their you know or them being an adults for them to be able to get it but yet you know <laughs> they're not wanting to sit up here and make it legal legalized in all different states you know me I don't smoke it anymore so you know but I'm not pro-choice you know I feel like I'm pro-choice about that because I feel like if, if you're gonna smoke it you go ahead and smoke it you know medicinal purposes or whatever you know that's all on you you know as long as it's not cocaine heroin or anything like that where that you know they're pushing out different crazy drugs nowadays where you you know you're biting off people's faces and blood boiling and people just thinking they're invisible it's just crazy stuff going on that you know that i mean i'm, I'm just still ch still trying to wrap my head around this guy was like you know he he had different him and his girlfriend lauren london i i just really you know wish prayer you know had prayers out there for him and his girlfriend and his family his daughter you know um that he was really doing things you know i think he was like a drug dealer or something allegedly i'm not sure because i'm still doing some more studies on that i might do a part two on this video but it was just like really upset upsetting that you know all these different things happen um you know this man had his own store you know he was trying to better himself there was so many people giving interviews saying that how much he helped the community out you know he was you know trying to move he, he moved himself out the hood and it's just like people are hating on him and it just feels like you cannot come up in the world you know especially if you you came up from the hood or whatever and then you you're doing good things especially if you're trying to push out positivity things like this happens
and it's a sad situation i just so happened to be talking about the video the other day and i was just telling a friend about this yesterday they have targeted individuals and it's just like things that's happened like i'm reading about in the newspaper uh this boy he was a truck driver and messed up stuff happened to him but uh, i think they disembodied him or some kind of crazy stuff that was going on but they never said nothing about that uh it, i mean it's just so many different things has been going on in the world where you know like i told you i have to shut myself off from the news and everything but it just really broke my heart just to hear about all the things that you know um that are going down and it's just like my daughter was showing me different videos he's done and i was like oh i like these songs you know and i was just like oh lauren london he used to date her you know he was dating her at the time and you know my, my daughter was telling me about him and it's just crazy the two people that my daughter was telling me about um well she actually even showed me videos about matt miller uh he passed away of a, a overdose and it's just like i mean i told my daughter you don't need to be showing me anybody else because it seems like every time you show me somebody they end up passing away you know because it was just like when i saw triple x extension um when i first saw him you know there was something about him that took me aback <laughs> you know it was just like his energy and then all of a sudden i told her i started having nightmares and stuff like that and she was like you know i told her about it because i didn't know nothing about this boy he's not even my age era or whatever you know this is her generation and i was telling her about the things that went on in his life and she was looking at me like mom these things really happened to him and it was just like well he sat there and he told me about these things that was going on and it was like i seen him with these wings and he was just saying you know it was like before you know i found out about the pregnancy or whatever that he had with the girlfriend i said either i thought about the pregnancy or it was it was out about the pregnancy or no i told her about the pregnancy and she was like well there there is a girl that was pregnant about uh with him and i said well he said he's going to be you know coming back reincarnated or whatever and then next you know a couple of months later she's like well mom remember when you told me that you know triple x was supposed to be uh uh, reincarnated she's like come to find out he had a little boy and I was, she was like mom this is just so crazy and stuff like that I said well you know I don't know how I knew about these things this is something that you know he wanted to tell me and then she was just like she got mad about it she's like well why didn't he come to me I said I guess because I'm more open with my spirituality I'm more open with my medium gift you you're not <laughs> you know I, I I don't understand why but you're not but it, it's just really crazy you know when he sat up here and said if he's going to do a documentary and something happens to him he wants people to ride for him and I'm riding for him you know if any other information I can find out about this situation even though it's like very dangerous to sit up here and talk about I'm going to talk about it because it's, it's like totally against things i'm at i'm, I'm a hayoka hey, so we don't like diversity we don't like injustice and this this ish is like really injustice this man could have found some stuff to cure cancer and from what i heard the stuff has been destroyed that you know dr cb had out you know and it's just scary that this is the second person that i know of that has talked about this man and came up dead within a couple of days or a couple of weeks of time it was like it's, it seemed like when lisa put out her documentary just a few days later she got into that car accident in honduras all of a sudden he's doing this research that he was getting ready to start this documentary and somebody will probably end up doing it in his favor and i hope and pray they don't come up dead too just for the fact that they're trying to keep that that you know that going pushing out the truth you know that he ended up getting shot dead in front of his store so um i'm not trying to keep any i ain't trying to keep y'all going but it's just really sad just please keep his his family and his girlfriend and his in in your prayers it's just really sad to have to hear this about this man you know especially when you're doing you know something good to help people out in the world but i'm gonna go ahead and give a post notification shout out um to uh, Byram Krishna, Sebastian Bo Bo Bogan, and uh, 
Jesus lover of my soul. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit this notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know how you feel about this situation. It is really crazy. Even share, you know, put your thumb, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace and be wild.